welcome back my youtube channel salesforce hunt and today i'm going to show you now we can use the reverse functions in uh, spring 23 and this is the very most important you know reverse function inside our formula salesforce administrator path right so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and please watch this video until end if you want to learn new feature and new function inside this release spring 23 so let get started without any further delay so let me move into my org so now you can see this is my org let me refresh this org and let me show you how to implement that reverse function inside our salesforce org right so just you have to click on this object manager and you can choose any object as you want let's say standard object or custom object based on your need right now i am taking this standard object here so just click on this account let me create some fields inside this you know this object so just click on the new and once you clicked on the new you have to enter your you know choose your data type of your fields so let me take some formula fields first this is the formula here you can see right and click on the next and just enter here let's say reverse text right and it should be written type as a text here just click on the next and here you can see advanced formula and simple formula just click on this advanced formula here under here I need to add my you know like reverse function inside this formula editor so under this function in the right side you can see lots of formula right so you have to select your formula so you have to search reverse here so now you can see the reverse just click on this insert selected function and it's asking me some text so how to provide this text inside this function right so that is the one concept here right so just remove this text i want to take some you know predefined fields inside this account object so it will be helpful for us to make it this reverse function as a functional point of view right so just click on this insert field here and under the account you can see lots of field right but right now I'm taking the industry field here right so let me search the industry here so now you can see the industry just click on this industry right so industry is a pick list so always use like you speak well or you know like text function so let me add one another function inside this reverse so that is called text here right just click on the next oh, by mistakenly I make it click on the reverse here right and here you have to take like text here click on insert and this text wants some you know like values so how to get the value so you can get this value from the pick list right so you can insert your field here if you have like some another fields here so now like industry just click on this industry and uh, once you added this formula here right just you have to check the syntax and everything here right so how to check the syntax just click on this check syntax here so once you clicked on this check syntax immediately you can see the green right so no syntax error in merge fields of the function and always remember you can write your comment inside your formula right so it's uh, easy to handle the administrator part of someone if you have like big organization so that time it will be help to others as well right so let's say this function work for the reverse the string something like that right so always give the comments inside your formula and it will be helpful for others and easy to maintain and easy to understand and easy to handle right so just check the syntax first if uh, I made some mistakes so definitely so no error here you can see no error and always this is the best practice always use the comments inside your formula or any kind of validation rule or formula right so just click on the next button and once you clicked on the next you have to save this formula so click on again next 
and uh, click on the save so once you save it now it's time to check and now it's time to test this functionality is working or not let's see okay so first of all let me open my UI and here in the accounts let me open a new tab and under the new tab we have lots of you know like uh, uh, account records here right so just click on any kind of you know like uh, account records here so here you can see the details or everything regarding this account records right under details and just come down you will be see our you know new field created field here right so where it is let's see here so now you can see the new field that is called reverse tax right so let me enter some industry because right now industry is blank here so just click on this pencil icon and uh, just you have to select the industry let's say I want to select the food and beverage right so just click on this one and click on the save immediately you will be see your reverse tax here you can observe this is the right tax and this is a reverse tax right if you have another you know like uh, values let me change into another one let's say here or do one thing uh, let me add some you know custom value inside this industry field so just you have to select this one click on this gear icon or click this one right and added it or you can add a new pick list value here so just click on the new and just add this is this is Salesforce hunt right click on the save button and once you save it just you can check this value inside your industry pick list value field so just let me refresh it again and just click on this detail and added that fields so here you can see my value will be available this is Salesforce and right just click and select this value you will be see this value would be calculate automatically once you click on the save button so just click on the save now you can see my reverse order of my this is Salesforce hunt so now you can see the reverse order and reverse tax using this reverse function so this is the new function inside this spring 23 release and you can make it uh, functional uh, based on your requirement you can use it anywhere as you want right so this is how to work on this rework function inside this new feature right so guys I hope you learned something new in this video if you feel and if you like this video please like share comments and please subscribe the channel and please don't forget it to turn on your notification bell icon so you never be miss any kind of updates from my side so till then bye bye take care See ya, thank you for watching.